Hi guys, it's Jess and today I just wanted to make a video talking about going from two babies in cloth diapers to one. I just kind of wanted to share my experience and talk a little bit about it with you guys and like what I've gone through, how it's been. I just wanted to share kind of what's going on in my head and how things have been and what it's been like going from two babies to one in cloth diapers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. So something else that I have wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit is going from two babies in cloth diapers to one baby in cloth diapers because it is a really big adjustment and it's a really big adjustment in a good way. Uh, I feel like going from one baby to two babies in cloth diapers is a really big adjustment in kind of the more difficult ways. It's more of a challenge. And going from two to one is actually just the opposite. You, you know, have less laundry, less stress, less, you know, just less work involved. And so it's, it's good changes, but it's definitely changes. And so I, I guess I would have to start off by saying significantly, number one, the biggest change of all is the amount of laundry because the laundry was just getting so crazy because when, when Georgia was born, Gunner was 17 months old and he was already a very heavy wetter, like very heavy wetter. And then Georgia was born and she was just wearing these teeny tiny little newborn diapers, just so cute. Here's an example. Gunner would be wearing a diaper like this and Georgia would be wearing a diaper like this. So Georgia was wearing these tiny little diapers and so they didn't Although you change a newborn a lot, they didn't accumulate like a ton of laundry. Like for Gunner, you know, 10 diaper changes in a day of these big guys, you know, with two or three inserts in them. I mean, that's a lot of laundry versus, you know, even 12 of these guys isn't that much. It only equaled maybe three or four of Gunner, Gunner's whole diaper setups. So for a long, long, long time, there wasn't a tremendous increase in laundry. I mean, I was still doing diaper laundry like every other day, uh, probably every other day for a long time. But then as Georgia got bigger and she transitioned into one size diapers of her own, even though she was on the smallest rise setting, you know, it was starting to accumulate more laundry. And then I would say around the time she turned one is when she started wetting a lot more. Uh, she's still not a heavy wetter by any means. She's just way too tiny. But she started wetting more to where like, uh, I did have to use better inserts or bigger inserts or sometimes two inserts to get her through. And that is when laundry really started to accumulate. And that is when I, I started having to do a load of diaper laundry every day, period. Rain, snow, shine, didn't matter what was going on. I had to do a load of laundry. And then a lot of times I couldn't get to stuffing the diapers. So in that case, I mean, it was good that I have so many diapers because there was oftentimes I'm not going to lie. I would have a week's worth or sometimes even two weeks worth of diapers that were clean. They were all clean and washed and dried and they were just piled up waiting to get stuffed. And so then when I would have time, uh, when I wasn't busy working or doing YouTube videos or editing or taking care of my kids or whatever, cooking, shopping, whatever, I would get to stuffing the diapers. Uh, and so the laundry was just kind of out of control the last couple months there. It, it had gotten a little bit overwhelming. It wasn't to the point where I was like, I'm not going to cloth diaper anymore, but it had gotten a little overwhelming. So when Gunner finally potty trained and it was pretty much overnight, like he just went from full time, you know, big diapers all the time, every day to almost completely potty trained it was such a sigh of relief and now I'm to the point where with Georgia it's a load of laundry it's still usually a load of laundry every day because we have an apartment washer and it's a really tiny little washer uh it's like a load every day and a half I would say but they're small loads they're just little teeny tiny manageable loads and I'm able to keep them stuffed and keep them, you know, keep the laundry routine going. And that's really nice. And it's also nice not to have to change two babies all day, every day. The other thing transitioning from two babies in cloth to one baby in cloth is that a lot of the diapers, like I had my favorite inserts, you know, my favorite hemp inserts, my favorite 
uh, stay dry inserts, my favorite flats, and then I had a lot of inserts that weren't my favorites, but I have a lot of diapers, and so I would just have to kind of stuff each diaper with any insert. And, and Gunner usually ended up getting like the better quality inserts just because he was a heavy wetter. And so once I transitioned to one baby in cloth diapers, then I had all those diapers of his to go through and unstuff and get all the good inserts out of so I could transfer them all to Georgia's diapers. And that was a pretty big process too. And I feel like that's probably pretty common when you have a diaper stash. All of all the inserts that you have probably aren't going to be your ideal favorite, you know, number one inserts. You're probably going to have your better ones and your not as nice ones. And they're kind of going to be distributed between your two babies. And so when you go down to having one baby in cloth, then you can really utilize like all of those good inserts for the one baby's diapers. So that's nice. For people that have twins, it's kind of hard because they're probably going to potty train around the same time. So you're kind of just, you know, in the same boat until they potty train. So that's kind of a unique circumstance. I know I do have subscribers that have twins. And I can't speak from personal experience of, you know, specifically having twins, but I did have two babies in cloth at the same time. Uh, so that has been another thing. I don't know. Some of you guys noticed that my diaper shelves were kind of empty in several videos and they were like, where'd all your diapers go? And it was because I was transitioning all the inserts and trying to get the gooder, the gooder. <laughs> trying to get the better inserts out of Gunner's diapers and into Georgia's diapers or, you know, just just separating them out. There's actually a stack of inserts that I no longer want or need because I don't need them anymore because I'm able to use the ones that Gunner had. I'm able to utilize all, all the better inserts. And so that's kind of another thing that uh, has changed. Um, let's see. Other than that, it's just, you know, it's kind of bittersweet because it was kind of fun at times to have the babies wear matching diapers. Some of my best memories from when Georgia was like a newborn were matching her diapers with her brothers. And it would probably sound silly to somebody who doesn't cloth diaper and maybe to some of you guys who do, but it was fun for me and I really liked that. And I did that all the way up until Gunner was potty trained and it wasn't every day or anything, but occasionally I would ma match their diapers and that was fun. And um, not having to pack as many diapers when I leave the house, you know, there's less of that. If we travel, there'll be less diapers. It won't be as much, you know, having to take with us. I'm trying to think, you know, when I thought about making this video, I was like, there's going to be so much to talk about. But honestly, there's not as much to talk about when you go from two babies in cloth to one baby in cloth. I feel like it's more of a stress relief than anything. But if you guys have any specific questions that you guys would like answered about going from two babies to one in cloth, please let me know. But I just kind of wanted to touch on it just because it is a transition. And for those of you that have two or even three babies in cloth, it is something that will end up happening you know you'll go from having three in cloth to two or two in cloth to one so it's definitely a topic that i thought i should touch on and then on top of that georgia is actually already showing interest in potty training she already wants to sit on the potty she does sit on the potty she takes her diaper off and sits on the potty and so 16 months old I did have one of my other children potty train at 18 months and so it's possible that she'll potty train really quick and then I'm like what am I going to make videos about but I've thought about it and I will continue to review diapers that I have and just continue to make videos. I can make videos on all sorts of topics, wash routines, flat folds, all sorts of stuff until there's eventually a newborn baby again. That's kind of the future of Jess is Blessed and where it's gonna go and probably also videos on other topics, but it's definitely bittersweet. My baby's getting older and potty training and you know transitioning and so I just kind of wanted to make a video and share it with you guys and kind of talk about it a little bit. Like I said, if you guys have any specific questions, leave them down in the comments. I will be checking the comment section so that I can answer any questions that I might have missed because I think I probably did miss some things. But yeah, 
definitely leave comments down below. Please like this video, share this video, watch another Jess is Blessed video if you have a couple minutes. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't already, check out the Ecoable giveaway that's going on. It's still going on until Friday, March 2nd. So there's still time to check out the Ecoable Hemp fitted cloth diaper review and giveaway. So if you haven't already checked that video out, I will leave a link to it down below as well. And I think that's it. So I love you guys. And until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.